What's up guys, Ben here for Player.net and today we're taking a look at the ASRock Fatality Z97 Killer Board. Um, yeah, we're just keeping things moving with the Z97 stuff. As you know, a lot of companies have put a lot of effort in getting these boards out there in time for Haswell refresh and also to be ready for Broadwell and all that fun stuff when it comes out. Just taking a quick look at the box, we will of course notice um, the overall design matches in with the other Fatality boards with the logo in the background here and the kind of reddish background. And they've also gone ahead to highlight some of the features down here in the bottom. Of course, Windows 8.1 ready, Crossfire, um, has the ASRock App Shop, Purity Sound 2, and a few others. Turning over to the back, we of course have a lot more information and some more actually detailed specification on what we can expect to see from this board. It goes ahead to let us know some about the killer land, um, some of the lower latency speeds we can expect from it. it. lets us know it's got premium alloy choke, the sapphire black PCB, and also some more information on the heat sinks, the power caps, and what else we can expect from some of the software that's included in the box or with the motherboard. So as this is just a quick unboxing, let's just go ahead and see what is in the box. Of course, we have our manual as this is a review sample. That's what they send us to give us a bit more information to help you guys. Uh, we of course have our backplate or IO shield. We have a guide about the ASRock cloud service, which we will cover more in detail. We, of course, have our Z97 Killer software setup guide, and also our quick installation guide. They've also gone ahead and included what appears to be four SATA 3 6.0 gigabyte per second um, SATA cables. We again, as we had with our 990FX board that I did a few weeks ago, we have a screw here, which I believe is to help hold our M2 SSD in place if we decide we want to use one or if we have one handy, which unfortunately I at the moment do not. Let's just ha get the board out here, as that was it for the package, what was in the box. Now something I am quite happy that ASRock has seemed to start doing, and I hope other people will adopt this, is not only do they put a little bit of foam in the anti-static packaging, they actually make sure the foam is wrapped all the way around the motherboard and then they zip tie it to the motherboard to keep it in place. I think this is a nice feature and it definitely will help the board from getting damaged in transit. Hopefully soon we will see more companies in the future doing this but for now at least ASRock of doing it and I'd just like to say thank you because it's always nice to have that little bit extra protection to help us guarantee that everything's going to get to us in tip top shape. As you can see here, we of course have our board. It's got a nice black and red overall theme to it. That is it for the unboxing. I will do a more detailed overview video of this in the near future. I just kind of want to keep this short, let you guys get a quick look at it and see what comes in the box. Uh, please like and subscribe. Comment, feedback is always welcome. And stay tuned for more videos in the near future.